Ladies and gentlemen, an evening with Paul Thomas Anderson. Talk to me about the decision to shoot in 70, because it's to go from looking at those, that perfect sort of academy box. I, I can't, it was like half-baked ideas about how to make the film or what format to shoot it in. And they were all just that, just half-baked ideas. And we started shooting tests at Panavision and we're hoping we would see something that, that felt right, where he just looked at it and you said, that's, that's, that's good, that's what it should be. Baraka has always come up in terms of influence. Joaquin and I were always talking about apes and animals and things like that for his character in that film. And I remember the first shot, it's a monkey, sorry, it's a monkey um, in the snow and he's falling asleep. It's just, and it's just, it must, must take like two minutes, you know, just to stare at this monkey slowly falling asleep. And it is absolutely hypnotizing. One of the best things I've ever seen. And, and he just loved it too. I said, let's try and do that. So. Did you like that though, that precision in the cutting in that sequence, that question and answer sequence? Because that felt so new to me for you. And there's a kind of a, Something I don't often think of in your films, a real kind of narrative momentum in, the, in that particular scene. Well, let them tell the truth. I don't want to, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to tell the truth by, or, or make my own truth by kind of cutting it up a bunch of different ways. And that's just luck of the draw to get a scene that, that can work like that, can actually work as a suspense scene and, 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 and work as this dynamic interplay. But at the same time, you're learning something about um, this person this character. So these kinds of ideas of screenwriting, only you know, plot and momentum and character and, and you know, usually the worst scenes that you have to go do in a movie are the ones that will, will move the story forward. You know, you've got to stop for a second and somebody has to kind of say some really horrible dialogue about, you know, well, the reactor, you know, it will blow up if we don't have, you know, whatever it is. People trying to figure out what to do with loneliness is something, a recurrent theme in your work. You know, it's like if you've ever taken a vacation alone, you know, you sort of, you, away, you know, I don't know, you get a few days away from your family or something, and sort of like the first 15 minutes you're thrilled, but you know, 17 minutes later you're like, you're lonely again, you know, you're sad. And I think people like to be with other people, don't they? Mostly, don't we all like being together? But then again, we like to split. I don't know. Fuck it, I'm vamping. I don't know loneliness. I don't know Elvis. I don't know. You always, you know, you sort of always peer around the corner and wonder if somebody's believing in something that might, that, you know, maybe they might have it all figured out, you know, um, and, and maybe they do. I don't, you know, I, I'll, al yeah, I'll always be thinking somebody's got it more figured out than I do, for sure. Yeah, and then you get over, to, and then you go over to their house, and it's like, smells kind of like cat piss or something, and, you know, <laughs> like, I knew they were weird, you know? Let's thank Paul Thomas Anderson for coming to share his night with us. Thank you so much.